today we're going to be working inside the chicken run. sitting here trying to think uh, exactly how many chickens I have. I'm going to take a minute and try to go over the number of chickens I have without getting too tongue-tied. A year ago, August 2020, I purchased about 15 Easter egg or chicks. From that original purchase, I have nine hens and one rooster. On April 1st of this year, I purchased 21 more chickens. From those 21 chickens, nine of them are actually bantams, and the rest of them are regular full-size chickens. They're all of the Easter Egger breed. If you remember, earlier this year, I had Mama Hen hatched out 11, I think she hatched out 14 chicks, but I have 11 of them left. Uh, I never sexed them. They're a couple months old, so I'm not sure what they are. But take all those numbers, and that adds up to about 42 chickens total. Let me grab this camera, and I'll show you one of the problems I'm having right now. So I have two chicken coops. Over here is the main coop. What you see in the background is approximately 4 foot wide and 8 foot long. Over here is the uh, the coop that I built for the bantams. It's approximately four foot by four foot. If we take a look inside of the uh, the bantams coop, you'll see that I have two roost bars. There's one here, and there's one in the back. So I have about eight feet of roost in here, but I've only got four bantams that use it. I usually have three that's along the back and one sitting here on the front. So now let's walk around and look inside the uh, main coop, the original coop I built. So in here, I have basically two roost bars Eight foot long each, so I got 16 foot of roost. So if I have eight feet of roost in the bantam's coop and 16 in the big coop, that gives me 24 feet of chicken roost to try to accommodate 42 chickens. It's not working out. Got too many chickens in the chicken coop. Inside the chicken run, I have about an eight foot roost right here. The uh, chickens were hanging out on here before dark, and then they would uh, go up into the coop for the night. But now they're packed on here like crazy. It's too much, uh, not enough room in the coop. Plus, it's you can imagine how hot it is in there with all those chickens. So a lot of them are sleeping out here. What they end up doing, they're just making a big mess right here on top of the ramp to get up there. Which doesn't really bother me. I'm not the one walking through it. But today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this roost. And maybe put up an additional one over here on this side. Give them more place to hang out until I can uh, reduce my chicken numbers by a little bit. It just so happens that I have a 2x6x8 uh, by by in the back of the truck. I'm going to try to split this down the middle and make two roosts out of it. If you notice, the maggot bucket is no longer there. I make my 
chicken roots about two inches wide. That seems to fit their uh, feet really well. The ones in the bantam run is actually just a little bit smaller. gonna cut one of them buckets didn't you I've done it before Time to get a new battery. All right, two roof bars, eight foot long. I'm going to walk up to the shed and see if I have any. Uh, Two by fours left over from them pallets I've been busting down. It's been so hot here lately that I've uh, turned the water hose on, letting them pigs playing in the mud for a little while. Hey, pig, pig, pig. Come here, pig, pig, pig. All right, let's get on up to the shed and take a look for a couple two by fours. Well, I found one two by four and one, uh, we're gonna call it a one by two. After thinking about it for a few minutes, I've decided I'm gonna put both roofs down here in this corner instead of one on either side. I'll put the, the highest one right approximately this area, about 18 inches from the edge of the coop. And then the uh, lower one, I'm going to lay right here, about another 12 to 18 inches away from the top one. That way all the manure will just fall to the ground below and nothing will get on the uh, chicken ramp leading up to the coop. What do y'all think? Think it'll work?
So here's the upper one. We'll uh, take a lower one, move it out a little ways, and attach it. And then we'll uh, remove this old roof that I had over here. Just a few more cuts and this thing will be done. All right, so here's what we got. We got an upper roost right here and a lower roost right here. I put in a couple um, additional supports. You guys can see. Um, hopefully the chickens will uh, get used to it right away and start using it. We'll find out later this afternoon. Since I didn't uh, run these roost bars through the router, before I mounted them, I'm going to go ahead and take this die grinder and just uh, smooth out these sharp corners. my temporary fix for an overcrowded uh, chicken coop I think I have a buyer for those 11 chicks so uh, I'll get those out of there and that will free up a lot more space for these girls to sleep in there at night if y'all hadn't hit that like button go ahead and do that and uh, be sure to subscribe with that red subscribe button down in the corner so that's all I got for this evening I'll catch you next time here at the It'll Do Homestead.